Today is a day where I am truly almost as pissed off as anybody can be. It is April and it's snowing as you can see. And uh, yeah, and, uh, wifey just left for work and it's snowing in April. Fuck. Cody, and thank God the roads are not icy or snow covered or anything like that. My gosh, that would have been wonderful if that would have happened. Um, but anyway, I'm Ryan, and this is my week. So let's start this week right now. my week. And I was worried because I, as you can like you might be able to hear the birds chirping which is terrible I mean in the sense that it's like um, you think with the birds chirping and it being in, in this part of the state spring break that it would actually be spring and it would be like 50 degree weather 50 to 60 degree weather and not this you, you wouldn't think that would happen, but you know, I noticed uh, that um, in the past few weeks, um, even though it had gotten warmer, that the trees were not budding. Because usually, uh, the most certain part about, you know, that spring's here and that the warm weather's coming is when you see, like, buds on the tree branches. And I had noticed that in the past few weeks that there weren't any buds on the trees. And as you can see, you say, oh, actually, wait a second. I think I start seeing buds. Oh, yeah, there are buds on trees now. They weren't there before. They weren't there a week ago. Maybe that is a good sign to where um, this, this last little bit of piffly snow is just old man winter getting his last laugh until uh, the warm weather comes. But still, this is just ridiculous. Yum. Oh, you can't see that. I'm just eating pizzas. Um, this makes Mondays all better. Some homemade pizza. And here's a small one. See, she put butter and garlic and who knows what else on no, that. That's only olive oil. It's only olive oil? Yes. What's the green stuff? Olive oil and oregano. Oh, okay, yeah. Let's see, olive oil and oregano. Mm -hmm. Just And garlic spread across the top of the crust before you put the toppings on. Yum. And so there's a small one. There's two big ones. She's got a Hawaiian pizza and she's got just a cheese one down there. Mm. Look at that. Is it sticking? Mm? Is it sticking to the pan? Yeah. Oh, oops. <laughs> no, don't yet. Okay. Just wait. Yum. Pizza. Am I spoiled? I think so. You need to go to the mirror. Is in my teeth? Yes, there? it is. Oh, there's a spot Open in my the mouth. Teeth. Yeah. Got it, see? Oh, see, there's a spot in my teeth. Yuck. 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 That's right. So, yes, there is the uh, Hawaiian pizza. I've burned a little bit, but that's okay. It looks good still. Just that little ugly blackness, which is fine. There's the cheese pizza. Oh, I'm drooling. When do you point at the salad? Mm -hmm. Oh yes, um, there's the you salad. Know the typical American salad that no. it doesn't have any taste, it's just plain and you add the ranch, is the ranch? Ranch, yes. No ranch. No ranch in the salad, yeah. This week I want to go over um, the equipment, like equipment for video and stuff like that that I do have and my wish list, um, which uh, stuff I do have is very small, my wish list is very long. So. Let's get into uh, what I have, and this will give some of you people hope, saying, he's got just this much stuff? My gosh, if, he can, if he's trying to do what he's trying to do with this, I can do anything. So, let's go through my wish list and my equipment. First thing is, I have a tripod. It's an old uh, Velbon. One thing, I lost the quick-release plate to it. Oh, years ago, so I still have to uh, get a quick release plate for it to work. I'm gonna get a good camera for it. 
going to work really well. Then compared to the big tripod, I have a little tripod. It's a little uh, flip tripod, which works well with the flip camera. I've used it on the uh, food tutorial. I'll probably use it in other food tutorials too, along with the flip camera. And then, of course, what's what I'm using right now for the video is the flip camera. It's the only camera I have right now, uh, but I want to get better cameras. Then, as far as uh, lighting equipment goes, uh, the biggest light I have is uh, this little uh, flashlight. Um, it's good for like um, big lighting positions. It's portable. It's uh, it's rechargeable. So uh, when you're on the site, you don't actually need to plug it in if you need an emergency light. See light. All you gotta do is, as long as it's charged, just to flip the switch on, and it's ready to go. And then you can uh, tape on whatever filters you need to um, filter the light through it to make the light not not as bright. Final biggest piece of equipment I have is my editing software, which it's Vegas Pro 9.0 software. It does a pretty good job. I've been able to do some special effects with it. I mean, fairly good uh, editing system. Definitely not a Final Cut or After Effects, but I mean, it does the job with what I want to do right now. It's basically it for uh, all the major equipment. I have and then next we're gonna go to my wish list and see what exactly I plan to get and what I want. One of the first things I, I wanna get is a quick release plate for my for the big tripod that you saw this I wanted to get. Now the next big thing I want is a computer. A computer that just can handle uh, video editing software best as possible. My first computer will probably be a laptop and then it'll probably want a bigger uh, PC to handle, you know, big uh editing projects. My next uh, thing would um, obviously be um, a, a very nice um, video or film camera and I mean I could I could go over oh I want this one I want this one anyone would be really good but my dream camera is the the red film camera and it's red digital cin cinema and this is not just because red is my favorite color it's because it's a pretty awesome camera it comes with all sorts of um, accessories, lenses, I mean that probably costs you an arm and a leg, but hey, you know, we're just dreaming here, so um, that's that's part of my uh, dream list is, is the red cameras. A jib, probably just a small pocket jib, but something just to make my uh, short films and videos just a little, look a little bit more professional. And next I probably want to have a pocket dolly or or some some type some type of dolly kit. And the last thing I really like to get is a dolly track. Um, these types of tracks are just easy to go in and cool to circle around. You can make your own circles and add that little bit of a smooth motion that can go into your shots. That was my wish list and my supplies. Hope you like that little bit of information. Quick shout out to my nephew Colin turning uh, 15 this week. Happy, happy birthday, buddy. Then just one thing I want to say. I know this week started out with snow, but now. We have beautiful weather outside, it is sunny and it is warm, and yes, we have the windows open so the breeze can come in. I'll see you next week.